We begin this edition of The Week That Was at Bathurst last Wednesday where trainer-driver Ashley Grives was back in the winner's circle. Her mare, My Lucky Bell, made a back-to-back -back wins at the track, rating a slick 155.2. Driving a very confident race here is Ashley Grives. She's got Dylan in her sights, can see it a length and a half adrift and won't make the grade. And down to the wire and my lucky bell, too good. Confident drive sees it land the chockies. It was also the Bendigo Bathurst Drivers Invitational Series that night at Bathurst, with all three heats taken out by Victorian drivers, including this one, won by Kate Gath on the Wendy Turnbull train Chapika Glory. Here's Lone Star Girl, but this goes for home and is home and host. Chapika Glory, Kate Gath will win the individual side of the series. Bolts in here, Chapika Glory beats Lone Star Girl. There was another driving challenge at Juni on Australia Day, and David Morris was the one that took away the honours. David won the first two heats of the City vs Country Invitational Drivers Challenge, and a second placing in the final heat sealed the series for the freelance rainsman. Further back then, Francisco Galore, Al Braxton in front, though, no, getting close to home, he gets the money. Al Braxton beats Katari Kajaya, he's a joker home from third, fourth fighter. At Parks on Thursday, cousins Jason Gaffney and Murray Sullivan combined to win the Keith Thompson Memorial with Not My Sister. It was the Mayor's fourth win in 20 starts. And do even a place, Jeds, but halfway down the straight, not my sister and Murray Silla Sullivan. They're going great guns. They'll beat the well supported Dugan, who flashed home for second. Third will go to Girl of the Glen. And then came Edward Street behind them, Trump and Ties Conda Few. And then Pacific. Trainer Michael Formosa and driver Mark Callaghan combined to cause a massive upset to win the Golden Guitar final at Tamworth's Carnival of Cups meeting last Friday with McGugan. As you can see here, the Pacer beat the favourite by a head at odds of almost $50. Coming late on the scene there is, uh, is McGugan. McGugan on the inside and late on the scene there was uh, Courts in Session, but McGugan, McGugan has beaten Courts in Session. It's tight for third. At Menangle on Saturday night, Pacer Dash of Luck had exactly that when winning the Powerface Adios Stakes and qualifying for the Chariots of Fire. The gelding stopped the clock in 150 flat. Have a look at right off the track, Matt Gregor. Dash of Luck goes out after them. Dash of Luck put the neck in front. Dash of Luck wins it. Dash of Luck has beaten Matt Gregor. Third's a photo. On the topic of fast performances and the chariots of fire, four-year-old Let's Chase the Dream also won at Menangle on Saturday night. The entire that has already earned a spot in the chariots was driven by Natalie Rasmussen and rated 149.9. Sam's the master, rallies back into second spot, but down to the line and let's chase the dream. Wins it a length and a half. Second, Sam's the master, third, Cosell, and they were followed in fourth by Thunderdance. At Newcastle last Saturday, it was a night of firsts with trainer Debbie Holt snaring her first winner with Crystal Tiara. Driver Will Rickson also obtained his first winner on the program when driving Ali Mendez for his father Peter Rickson and later in the night was back in the winner's circle to grab his first double when winning with Jimison in an action-packed race. But into the straight and it is all Jimmy Sun and Will Rickson brings up a winning double. Jimmy Sun first by 25 metres over Captain Hooper second, I think Special Pony third. World experienced rainsman Andy McCarthy drove his first winner since returning to Australia on holiday from the United States when landing the catch drive on Yaya's hotspot in the Group 3 Frank and Edna Day Goulburn Cup at goldwinstab.com.au Carnival of Cups meeting on Sunday. Watch Pulp Fiction and then Clancy's Bob Watch, but it's Yaya's hotspot in front and Yaya's hotspot for the Goulburn Cup. Does it easy? Clancy's Bob Watch rattles home into second, but Yaya's hotspot won it. At Menangle on Tuesday, youngster Divine State turned many heads with this debut performance, spacing his rivals and clocking 152.8, which was an Australian record for a two-year-old Colt. Cast along Shadow in a clear second, and they're clear then of running home Captain Cosmonaut, and Merrywood Pearls down the outside is trying to get into third spot, but this is easy, look at it go. Divine State, Divine State wins it by five. After spending four and a half years away from the races, driver Doug Hewitt made a return to the Sulky over a fortnight ago and he landed his first winner back in more than five years at Young on Tuesday night when saluting with Pretty Hot. On the inside of those, I'm the mighty Wilbur halfway down the straight and Pretty Hot too good, beat me good, third Mosler. 
And that wraps up another edition of The Week That Was. Thanks for watching.